All right, guys. Today we're replacing this fender, okay? Um, and this fender that I have right now, it's actually in a good shape, but I'm just gonna replace it with this one and I'm gonna prep this one really good. Uh, it's actually pretty much rust free. I just have to touch up some rust spots, clean them up. Uh, and this thing is gonna be actually really awesome. So I'm gonna be replacing that today. Uh, and also um, I'm gonna do some work behind the fender. Uh, fix some rust over there and all that so first I'm gonna take care of this fender here's a new fender guys all right so it's a, in a really great shape just gotta take care of a couple of rust spots all right it's all surface rust especially where the bolts were mating to it so um, yeah just gonna clean it all up nicely sand all these areas and Make it look good. All right guys, quick progress. So right now I'm working on this area. I wanna sand everything here, all these rusty spots. And I'll show you this area. This is all nicely sanded, okay? Uh, I'll just have to fill it with some body filler or maybe liquid bondo, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I cleaned it up right here from all the rust. There was some rust right there, especially where the trim mounts to. And then I'm soaking, I'm working on these areas, on the lower uh, lower mounts right there. And I still have to work on that area, but um, it's coming along guys, okay? So as of today, I think I'm gonna finish all, like cleaning all the rust off and I'll probably primer this, this thing and I'll install it on the car. One eternity later. Guys, before I do anything else, let me show you the progress. Um, I've been working on this right front fender right now for like three hours just to clean everything, all the rust spots and everything, just to make sure everything is going to be good in the future. So let me show you how everything looks right now before I actually primer this thing. Fender, okay. So all these spots used to be rusty, so I cleaned everything to the bare metal. So everything, all this stuff used to be all rusty. And then I also cleaned it on the inside. So everything there is cleaned up. Most important part is these two bottom halves, okay? Have to clean them really good. Now onto this part. This is all being sanded. These spots have been treated. Not treated, but just like sanded. Okay. Same thing with this. It's all sanded and cleaned to the bare metal. All right, and say, same thing right there. I just have to finish cleaning this part. Okay, it's like one of the last ones that are left. And that's pretty much it. I can primer this thing. And uh, there's actually, you know, there are some imperfections that I'll have to, you know, put some body filler on, but this is going to be in the future right now. I want to clean it all up nicely and I want to primer it. And on the inside, I'll probably just gonna, I'm probably going to paint it and I'm going to uh, undercoat this. Basically, I'm going to put a lot of wheel bearing grease on, on the inside. This thing will never ever rust. All right, this is getting primered now. Okay. 
the underside of the fender is getting painted and coated with wheel bearing grease. I guess so this is how everything looks there's some rust right there that I have to clean up and I'm probably gonna remove this fender liner I want to clean it and check underneath make sure everything is good and if there's any rust clean that up okay guys so have the inner fender liner out have the vacuum reservoir out um, this is our ramp area. So we're gonna be cleaning all this rust off, protecting everything. And then I removed this body plug. So while you're here, it's a good idea to actually go ahead and spray um, either fluid film or some really good um, lubricant or something like that. Don't use rubber as the undercoating, but just spray some undercoating, like really good undercoating in there um, to protect it. And then replace this cap later and yeah guys so that's the plan i'm gonna probably take this off too um it's actually ripped right there uh, we'll see what i'm gonna do about that but i can probably take it off now and just uh clean it a little bit there's it's actually pierced right there as well so we'll see what we're gonna do about that guys but main goal is to clean this up now and also gonna go ahead and clean all these bolts and screws and everything okay this is getting all cleaned up all this rust also discovered some more stuff like right here i had to actually peel all that stuff off and clean it up and there's more rust right there there's a small hole uh, right there uh, this is not too horrible there's actually a small hole right there as well. Okay. Um, other than that, not too horrible. The biggest thing is jack point is gone. And this is starting to be gone as well. So I have some work. But yeah, then started cleaning some stuff right there as well. And uh, she's coming along. Uh, my new fender is drying right now. I uh, put a lot of paint on the inside, so just waiting. And in the meantime, I'm gonna keep working on this stuff. Alright guys, so before I put the fender on and the wheel liner, I'm going to use the wheel bearing grease. As you can see, this is all nicely painted, protected. It was all cleaned up from rust. And right now I'm going to be ready to actually go ahead and um, coat this whole thing with bearing grease. And then I'll reinstall the um, drain hose, water drain hose right here. So yeah, let's get to work. I'll get it done and see how it looks. All right guys, there you have it. A bunch of grease everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna start reinstalling this vacuum reservoir 
and this drain hose and also I'll show you later how I coated the front there uh, that's gonna go on here uh, from the back side it's actually a really important thing to do um, so yeah just bear with me we'll be right back Okay guys, so I have the fender liner back on. All right, all reinstalled. This is all reinstalled, the hose and everything. And it looks pretty amazing, guys. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about it? So I'm pretty happy, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, put wheel bearing grease on the underside of the right front fender and then afterwards i'll be actually installing this fender and we're almost done with this side uh, pretty much and yeah i'm pretty excited guys i'm gonna have a really like frost free fender and all that so and then later on in the videos we're gonna go ahead and uh, replace uh, the doors on it so it's gonna get different doors and all the other stuff guys awesome save classic cars all right guys all right guys i'm just finishing touching up this stuff before I put the fender on discovered uh, another small rust spot so I'm cleaning that up right now and treating and everything else is pretty much done and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install this fender really soon What I hate the most about doing all this is setting the gaps. I just hate it so much because sometimes it just doesn't go as planned and then you just spend like hours and hours trying to like <laughs> make the gap perfect and it's still not working out. So yeah, I'm really pissed <laughs> right now I'm trying to make this fender you know fit pretty good and it's just it's not working it's either over there the gap is too big or here or over there is like the the door is like you know not in this on the same level as the fender it just kind of sucks and yes this is actually oem original fender <laughs> believe it or not so this is this is really annoying yeah so i don't have it um bolted up just yet all the way but you see this gap already right here it's it's really bothering me and then this this is higher than that which is also annoying honestly i i don't mind body work and other stuff but like when it comes to gaps i hate it the most i just hate it Alright guys, the fender is finally done, back on. Uh, it wasn't so easy, but I managed to do it, you know, it's not perfect. But I might be actually adjusting the gaps in the future. Uh, for now, I'm happy the way it is. Um, and yeah, I'm about to close the hood, I'll show you how it looks. Uh, with the hood closed and all that. If you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel a lot of videos coming up and i will see you in the next one guys i love your mercedes or whatever classic car you have bye